glues. All you need for this one is a blush 160 with a five finger tail, a gray 160 with a five finger tail, a little scrap piece of a white 260 or a 160 for his eyes, and a little scrap piece of a black 260 or 160 for his nose. Okay, let's get started. We're gonna start with his little muzzle. So take your blush 160 and put a little tiny round pinch twist, just about the size of one finger, and pinch twist it. That'll be his bottom lip. And then take two little tiny bubbles for the front of his muzzle, which is right here, and twist those around. So you have this. Now take a little black scrap piece of a 260 or 160 and pinch twist it and tie it off like a little jelly bean is what it looks like. And I like to knot it two times so it doesn't come undone. And then see these two little bubbles here? We're just gonna wrap that up around the top of that and in between the pinch twist just to kind of hold the nose on. And then you can pull that black piece up and cut it off. So this is, you can tie it on. I just kind of wrapped it around. So it looks like this. And then we're gonna take a three finger bubble and another three finger bubble and wrap it right back to the front, right to the nose. And then we're gonna take, squeeze it out. If it gets tight, squeeze it up towards the end. Then we're gonna take a four finger bubble and we're just gonna kind of pull this and push this through and roll it over. So I have my thumb pushing up this four finger bubble and I'm kind of rolling it over right like that. And his nose flipped upside down so I'm gonna fix that. So I have this. And then give them two little loop ears. Tiny little loops that like maybe one finger or half of your finger could fit in there. See his little ears, that's what we're doing now. So here's his head, the longer one is the top of the head. And there's his muzzle, his nose, and then two little loops for the ears. So you have this. And just so you can see where I'm going with this, I'm gonna stick his little eyes in next. Take your little scrap piece of a white 260, fill it up to about, about two fingers, split it in half, wrap it up to the top, and then push one of these through the center, pull it a little bit, and then we're gonna tie it in two knots so it doesn't come undone, and then cut up above this little knot so you have like these two little bubbles. And then we're gonna tuck it right in here. I'm keeping this knot towards the back of his ears just so you can't see that mess. And tuck it up under that four finger blush bubble. So his cute little eyes are tucked right in there. And now what we need to do is pick up our gray 160 and make a little round bubble and pinch twist it. I'm gonna tie mine because I don't want that to come undone. Then make a three finger bubble and then another little round bubble and pinch twist it. And now we're gonna take it up around our little armadillo or hedgehog, whatever you want it to be. <laughs> so lay this right here, wrap it up around the top, and twist it. So this curve is like a little bit longer, going up, kind of just laying up over the top. Tuck that up. Now what we want to do is right underneath of this gray one, you're gonna twist the blush one off and you're gonna kind of squeeze out the air just a little bit and make 
a little four finger bubble and another little four finger bubble and these are gonna be your little guy's hand or arms. Now take this gray one six case and run it right up in front of that blush one to the other pinch clip. Kind of make it snug and make about make it about a three finger bubble. So it's like little a little shorter in the front. So you have this. And then run it in the back and then we're gonna make that longer. So that's gonna be about a four finger or five finger bubble. It's about a five finger bubble. We're gonna run it back over in the back and make another five finger bubble and go over to that pinch twist. So you have this. Can you see that? Wrap it around so it doesn't come undone. Now right under these two, we're gonna make a little bubble. And we're gonna make another little four finger bubble and another little four finger bubble for his legs. Twist it around. And we don't think we want his tail this long. You can have a longer tail. Maybe a longer tail if it's an armadillo. And a shorter tail if you decide to turn it into a little hedgehog. Um, you can change up the colors. Maybe if it's a hedgehog you want this. Like mocha brown. That's fine. And maybe you could draw little quills on the back of the shell. Um, but I'm just going to leave it like this. Kind of armadillo-y looking. <laughs> But I'm going to shorten that tail down. So I'm going to cut the very, very end and kind of make it like a five, five finger tail. So a five bubble finger tail. And then tie a little knot like this. I'm going to curve the tail upward. Cut that remaining part off up above the knot. And then I have this. And now I want to go, see what I have here? I want to go down below his leg and tuck that up under his leg, back to this side. So he's just kind of tucked in there. And now I have this remaining and I wanna tuck it one more time back to that other side, just to kind of curve him around and twist it around here. And now cut this little end off, tie it in a knot, wrap it around that pinch twist and then hide your ugly stuff underneath so you have this now we're going to draw his little eyes on and i like um the eyes to kind of come forward so i'm going to kind of pull these eyes out to the side a little bit so when he looks straight on he He's kind of looking at you. Instead of like one eye way clear back in here under his ear, I kind of like the look when he's looking straight forward. It's better for pictures too. So hold your little um, hand on the side of his cheek and draw a big oval. And you can put a little um, circle in or you can leave a circle kind of out, do it on the other side too, for the shine in his eyes, like I did with the white editing marker, I just added it, but you can, um, you can, uh, you know, just leave it hollow and use the white 260 or 160 eye part um, for the shine in the eyes if you want. I'm just going to leave it out of this one so you can see what it looks like, and then I'll put the little eyebrows on. And then little dots on his muzzle or like little whiskers and you can add whiskers on the side of his cheeks if you want to and here is your little hedgehog or armadillo thanks so much for watching guys if you enjoy my videos please hit like and subscribe and i also teach balloon twisting all levels and i have a link for that right down below all right guys happy twisting and i'll see you in the next video